Okay, this is a quick guide to setting up and using XBMC. Uh, to get this on here, if you're not one of my customers, you will need to have a jailbroken Apple TV and have SSH the data into the Apple TV. All of your add-ons are in video add-ons. Now I like it in this view, but when you get it, it will be in it. It will be in this view like this. If you just press to the right, as you see, you can change the different views. With different skins, it looks completely different. Again, this is not the best skin, to be honest, so have a look at the others. Uh, just click on any of them and they'll just work, really. The Flashboard stream, streams you need to have a paid subscription from the website so if you go to their website get a pass, username and password, pay for the subscription come back, you put it in by just holding down the menu button add on settings, enter the details that's it really uh, same with the live online footy the catch up TV you need to get a username and password from the website, but well, it's free. So again, come back, pop that in here, and then that will work. Everything else should work fine. Uh, the skins I mentioned are in systems, settings, appearance, skins. Uh, you won't have all of these straight away. If you go to get more at the bottom there, you can download which ones you want. Uh, I find the Neon to be the best, it seems to have the most options of searching things and various extras that the others don't seem to have, but well, personal preference. The main thing most people are going to want to need to know is how to add your media. So if you go to Video, Files, and you can see these are the the destinations of where the files are on my PC but obviously that's not going to be there when you come in so you have to go to add videos and browse and find where it is basically for Windows it's SMB uh, I'm not too sure for Mac but I'm sure you'll be able to work it out uh, and then you need to select your work group that your computer's on um, you do need to set up a work group with Windows or Mac you can probably find some file, some videos on YouTube of how to do this. Uh, it will need to have a user account and password because when you click on this, it will show you all the computers that are in that work group. And then when you click on that computer, uh, it will ask you for the username and password that you log into Windows or your Mac with. You have to have this with any file sharing on Windows, and I presume it'd be the same with Mac. But once you've entered that username and password, it will go straight into your files. Uh, find where your videos are. You might have had to click these as shared files on Windows as well. But I'm sure the guide for setting up your work group will show you that. Uh, select where your films are. Now that's everything in that folder. If you press to the right and OK, then it just gives you the whole folder for that. You can call it whatever you like there. It's obviously just named it the same as what the file is on my computer. Put whatever you like. Click OK. And then it's asking you what type of content is in this folder now. So mine's movies, but you've got none, music, TV shows, uh, whatever, whatever's in there. Then auto scan. Um, you can select this the first time, but if you're doing a load in a row, if you select this and click OK now, if one was running previous to it, it would cancel it basically, so you wouldn't, it wouldn't find all your media. So I wouldn't advise doing that other than on the first time. Uh, I'll show you what to do otherwise. If you want to add them all, all your files in one go, rather than letting it do it one at a time. It'll ask you if you want to refresh it in now. Uh, you can press yes the first time, as I say. If you, and another file straight away now, I wouldn't do it again because it will cancel it. But what you can do, once it's run that, they'll be in videos, movies now, or whatever it was, TV shows, or whatever.
Now you can, once you've added all the files, just hold menu now and go update library and it'll find everything there, which is probably a better way than doing it because uh, if you do try and do it individually, they do cancel each other. Again, if you press uh, it's up now. If you press up, you can change the way it looks. There's some pretty cool different ones. This is not the best skin. Uh, some of the other skins, it does look a lot better. But just have to try them out and see what you like. Uh, if you hold the select button on one of the films, it gives you some more details. It tells you the directors, the year, uh, everything you can see there. You can go to the cast, tells you everybody that's in that film, even gives you a photo of them. You select that person, tells you every film that she's on, in on my computer. She's probably not the best one to pick, but let's try Bruce Willis. You can see he's in quite a few films there on my computer. You can go straight to any of them. Gives you the plot. Uh, the fan art, which is generally what's in the background, and it can be used as a screensaver as well, and it flicks through all your films, all the fan art. You can even play a trailer there of the film, which goes to YouTube and plays in the trailer, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's about it for XM XBMC. Uh, there's music stuff there, add-ons, where SoundCloud and stuff like that is. All pretty simple to use. Programs has got the NaviX in there. few other bits and bobs. Uh, in any of these you can also, when you're in the add-ons of music or whatever, there's always a get more at the bottom there. There's a lot of stuff that came with the packages that I installed on these that I haven't enabled. Not all of it will work, not everything is compatible with a UK IP address, but um, there is a lot of stuff on there. What if it's any good? and what of it will work uh, is a different matter but you'd have to try that out for yourself as I say a lot of it is based on America and it wouldn't work in this country um, but I'll let you play with that anyway hope that's been a help any more questions feel free to email me